Welcome back folks, this is Shane. In today's video, we're gonna see if we can get a third HDMI port out of the YOLO box from YOLO Live by using this little adapter. Now, I bought this off Amazon, it's only $14.99 Australian, so it cost me next to nothing, it's about 10 bucks US. I'll leave links below if you wanna find out more about this. Now, currently on the YOLO box, I'm using it with a Logitech C920, just plugged directly in, as you can see on screen. No drivers required, being that this is an Android device, it just works. You plug stuff into it and it works, which is really cool. Now, there's been some additions and improvements to this device, as well as something, a little fix I'm waiting for, so I'll cover that in another video. But one of the cool things about this is, if this works, this might open up a world of opportunities. When I did the first review of this unit, a lot of people were saying, oh, we should just had one extra HDMI input source. So we're gonna test this out. I haven't opened this, I haven't tried this, but we're gonna see if it works with the trusty old Panasonic G85 here, and we'll see if we can get it to function as an actual HDMI input source. I'm just taking my ND filter off as well, and we're gonna open this up and give it a go. So this is one of those devices that's continually improving. They've just added a couple of transitions and a few other uh, features to the unit which will make it a little bit easier to use. Now, there's one correction I'm gonna to add to this video. When I first did my review, I was using automatic HDMI audio selection switching. So every time I switched cameras or sources, it would switch with it. You can only choose one. So you can't mix between say one and two. It was something that was brought up in the comments and I, I completely missed that when I did it. So just to let you know, I'm gonna do a full cover of all the new features as well as some uh, other things you should know about this unit coming up. But in today's video, this is the feature of the show. I just want to keep this pretty much on point. So let's give this a shot. Like I said, if you're interested in these, links will be below. Um, and these are, uh, this is super tiny. So it's literally just a HDMI connection on one side, a USB 3 on the other. So as you can see right now, there, there it is. The Logic C920 is working. Let's unplug that just to show you how easy it is. I plug it back in. Uh, it's defaulted back to the fr the home screen. So I just have to start that process again. Right now, there's nothing plugged into it. So let's give this a shot. We're going to plug this into here. I'm going to leave my camera off to start with. I'm going to grab the other side of the HDMI cable, plug that into here. And then that can go into the camera. I hate these micro HDMI cables, whoever invented them. Shame on you, man. I can't believe in 2020, this company is still using them. What a disgrace. <laughs> I mean, it's better than nothing, but it's still, it's still pretty horrible. So on this particular, I'm just gonna set this to auto because this will be the easiest way to see if this works or not. And boom, we have picture already. Let's just focus in on this. All right, so as you can see, we now have picture out of this uh, camera, which is fantastic. So you might be saying, hey, how come it's only uh, in the quarter of top's quarter of the screen? That's because it's in uh, preview menu um, view right now, sorry. So if we hit that, we can full screen it. And there we go. So we now can get up to three HDMI devices in the YOLO box, which is fantastic. So yeah, if one of the limitations was you thinking, oh man, I wish I just had that third one. Now you've got it. So one of the big advantages of this and something that I've noticed now that I'm putting together this new studio room as a podcasting room is you can resize the picture in picture really easily on this unit, which is something I think is kind of separates it from a lot of the other devices. I love the fact the updates are coming out as regularly as they are. They're fixing some bugs, hopefully squishing them for good. And they're also improving the functionality and usability of this. Another big question I also had regarding this is, do I need to buy any type of streaming service for it? No, this replaces your computer, it replaces everything. You can just use this, it's running on batteries right now, which is fantastic, but you can run it off USB just to power it, I mean, and then that's it. This will stream to Facebook and YouTube and a number of different sources all at the same time, providing your internet is good enough. So I'm wrapped with this thing. I think it's really cool. And the fact that it's, it's working as well as it is just plug and play. So you've seen it all in one big take. Thanks for watching, catch you soon. See ya.